John Party with Cowboy Hat. CBT guitar lesson for Joel. You want to tune flat, half step down for this one. And um, Joel is pretty straightforward, dude. I mean, pretty much two rhythms with pretty much the same chord progressions. And then we got the solo and then a, a bridge section and the end, which is a repeat of stuff. So pretty, pretty simple one. Standard D major chord and it comes in at one second. We're going to play the chord three times, but this is the beat of it. You get that beat, you're good for everything. B minor, uh, bar everything, fret two from string five down, four D, four G, three B, same exact strum. Okay, on the G, there is a little change I'm hearing. You'll strum, it's three two open, open three three. You'll go. If you want to catch that F sharp, you would you would uh, move your pinky, take your index down to two on the high E. It's three, mute, open, open, three two. So it's like. So, you can't hear it a, a whole lot if you don't do it, but try it and see how it feels. E minor, open, two, two, open, open, open. That, you're just going to strum. Two, three, four, again. Okay? That's one of the main rhythms. Um, section two comes in at 19 seconds. Um, almost the same chords. We're going to start with the D. Go down, down, up, down, change, up, down, up to the B minor, down, up, down, change to G, to E minor, so it's keeping the same consistency except after the E minor, so you'll start that with a, an up strum, down, A major, from string 5 down, open, 2, 2, 2, open, and go down, up, down, up, that sounds like this, oops, try it again, Okay, um, and then finishing that off, D major, same strum, B minor, E minor, when you get to the E minor, we'll go up, down, down, up, down, up, to an A power chord with the octave, string 5 working down, it's open 2-2, two, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. You'll hear the build up there, try and use dynamics when you play that. So coming off the E minor. Okay, that's almost it rhythmically. Um, a series of repeats till the solo comes in, which is pretty short. Um, there is distortion on it. 5A. So 5A, 7A slide to 9, 7D, so it's 7D hammer 9, 7-9G, so it's, okay, 9G bend, rest to 7E three times, 9G bend, again with the release pull off to 7, 9-7 DG, vibrato, 9D slide. So it's, uh, yeah. Open E, hammer to 2, 5E, twice, slide to 7, 5A, 10B, uh, you're going to bend, 10E, 10B, pre-bend release, pull off to 7. So that's the trickiest part, is you may have to adjust your hand to achieve the pull-off. That's something like that in an Eagles solo for Hotel California. 10 pull 7B, 9 7GB, 9G bend release pull 7, 9 D and G bend to 7G. So from the bend on the 10B, And that's it. It goes into a, 
a different instrument solo. I put the rhythm of section two behind that. And then the only new part is going to be the bridge. Section three, it's standard E minor, open two two, open, 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 just strum. The whole notes, three, four, to D F sharp, that's two, open, open, two, three. G major, four finger version. Um, an A5 power chord, A, open to AD, then a ring, and then strum eight times. So your outline is, actually the whole progression is this. Three, four, and then you hit section two, eight times, no star. That'll make sense in your tabs. And you end in D major, okay, so. You're just going to come off of section two, which was ending with A major. You would end up going. Okay, when you hit a D major, a lot of times people are hitting the open A with it because the D major has an A, a D, and an F sharp in it. So we have our open D and then the A. That's why that works. Okay, good stuff, man. Talk to you soon.